hey, this morning will help you and the kiddos survive the holidays. All we can do is try. From adjusting schedules to going to grandma's house, the season can be tough for both parents and kids. Shara Chala Aurora, child specialist at Meadow and Sugar Hill Montessori Schools, is joining us this morning to try to take some of the stress off because it is challenging traveling with kids. Yeah. I know this yeah. firsthand. <laughs> and you've got some, uh, some things that we should all pack. Uh, yeah. when, when we're traveling by plane, train, or automobile. Routines are very important for young children. Mm -hmm. In Montessori, we say that children under the age of six are in their sensitive period for order and repetition, which basically means that they need a routine. Mm -hmm. And so during the holidays, you're traveling and your routine's completely off. The best thing you can do is prepare your child in advance. So if you are taking a flight, you know, count down the days on the calendar mm -hmm. so they know, okay, there's 10 more days till we go to grandma's. If you are... That will relieve their stress. Yes, exactly. It'll create more of a sense of excitement. Mm -hmm. If you're taking a long road trip, something you can do is pull out a map. They actually still print these. Yeah. And you can pull one out, draw how they'll be going and where you'll stop. So they always have something to look forward yeah, you to. Yeah, get those at convenience stores. They're about five yes, bucks. Yes, exactly. I, I like how you, you, you always have to have baby wipes. Baby wipes are important. Any parent knows that you need these. I mean, wiping hands in public places, in the car, there's always spills or on the plane. So always have baby wipes. Snacks also. When you're traveling, usually their feeding times are off. Yeah. So make sure you always have snacks on hand. And that one has like a, a safety this has, or something? Yes, so it's spill proof. Oh, and so okay. they can just put their hands in there and grab something. Keep things like dried fruit and nuts because any sugary processed snacks, they'll cause a quick spike in blood sugar, oh. but then they'll start feeling tired and maybe even a little fussy afterwards. Yeah. And of course, on a plane, water. Staying hydrated is really important for them. If your kid doesn't like water, put some fresh fruit in there. So it creates some color and also flavors it a little bit. And you got a whole bag of stuff there too. Yes, you can have your child pack their own backpack with their favorite toys. They can pack their own shoe. Yeah. So Pack their stuff, so their favorite blankie, maybe favorite toy. When you're traveling, it's important to have something comforting and familiar for them when they're away from home. And what about traveling with the uh, older kids, like teenagers or kids in their 20s? What advice do you have for people that way? You know, kids in their 20s, I usually work with under six, and I mean... Let them take their own flight, that's my <laughs> Take their own flight. <laughs> All right, Jared, right. Chala, Aurora, thanks for joining us this morning. Okay? Thank you. Nice to you. My pleasure. Good luck with all the kiddos. Thank you so much. All right, coming up, the Rockets.